My practice nowadays is exploring two or three different things, revolving but based on exploring place, aspect of history, and also where emotion and sentiment come is used to shape landscape. My name is Zadlo Guerrier. I'm an artist, I'm a visual artist, and I make artwork. Landscape is interesting because landscape, it's, it's a notion. It's quite literally the word we created to categorize the places that we go, the places that we live, the places that matters to us, the places that we add value to. So the new work that I'm working on my studio now is a series I call, for short, The Folds, because partly I fold them and that's one of the marks in them. What I had to leave behind to make this work, I had to give up clarity and images. And I had to create a work that's large enough where the snippets that's left in the work, they're of a scale that feels comprehensive for a body. I'm gonna unfold it to show you what, how this began. Yeah. This is um, an image of, um, it begins with an image of the lobby of a hotel on Collin. Yeah. This is a plant fossilized. I mean, it hints at the, the longer period of time, almost geological time that exists, as opposed to an image like this, which is, you know, which is vegetation. This is from last year. Or uh, all flower, which is, which is a seasonal time. So it's a sense of getting time, to get presence, to get how people feel about colors. All these things come to organize the landscape. So um, I try to put all these things in the work. And then when we fold the work again, it gives the opportunity for further play. When you fold a piece of paper, you put a crease in it. And from a conservative standpoint, it's like, that's not good. <laughs> and so there's this feeling when you see a piece of paper fold that you want to, you want to flatten it out. And I think I'm trying to explore that because what I really want to do is create a work where I'm doing one action and I invite a viewer to do the opposite. So the unfolding also has to occur. The usage aspect of the paper is really interesting to me. And also paper is, um, paper has memory compared to fabric you can, you can uh, iron and dry clean your fabric, but paper has memory. Where you put a crease, it's very difficult to make to erase it. And so you have to honor the sort of history of that mark in a way that contributes to how you read the work. Being a resident art center, it's, it's really interesting for me because I had never had a studio in Miami Beach. I wanted the challenge actually making artwork here when it seemed like there was a trend of the art community and culture leaving Miami Beach. The Art Center has invited me to be a visiting artist. The Art Center has supported me in making artworks here and abroad. Uh, I have nothing but love with the Art Center, so um, Art Center, long live Art Center. <laughs>